Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is Hayes Tech ROM Review, <clears throat> and we are going to review Twisted again. It's been quite a while since I've reviewed it. Uh, this is actually a request uh, review, so I went back and looked at it, and it has been quite a while. So I figured I, I probably should uh, give it another look and uh, see what kind of changes that there were, uh, if you know, if any at all. Uh, I didn't see a lot of changes. Um, I, I did notice um, a definite improvement in the way it ran. Because if I remember correctly, at least from my notes, um, I had some issues with uh, scrolling, um, stuff like that. Nothing really major. It just wasn't, it didn't seem quite as smooth uh, when I ran it uh, the last time. Uh, this time it is definitely running much, much smoother. Uh, so if you guys are really into a um, uh, an AO, uh, AOSP based ROM, uh, something that runs very very smooth, uh, that has custom features but not over the top because this has very few custom features to it, uh, this is definitely a ROM to look at. So uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, uh, the about phone. I'll let you guys see that this is twisted. Uh, it is for the Nexus Six. Uh, Android version 601. It uh, has the August security patches to it because this is the latest release. Um, I just downloaded this here just a couple days ago, actually. Uh, let me see. Build date there is August 2nd. <clears throat> uh, so, but again, it has everything to it. Uh, I am running Blackbird Kernel uh, only because, again, guys, I like Blackbird Kernel. Uh, it has features that I like and that I use, um, and that's why I run it. Um, Alright, uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go right into the System UI Tuner, which is already on. You guys don't have to do anything to turn that on. It's right in Settings. Uh, so we're going to open that up. Uh, there's a lot more um, uh, settings in here than what you normally find in it. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, your quick settings are here, your options... Uh, large first row, uh, your quick setting tile. Uh, you're going to pick on. You're going to choose that um, option to pick and choose what you want to show in your quick settings tile uh, tiles, and they do have quite a few to choose from. Um, the only thing that I can't find, <laughs> it's been bugging the heck out of me, is uh, heads up. I can't shut heads up off, and I can't find the settings for that. Uh, that's what I have on. Uh, this is what I did not put on. Let you guys look at that real quick. Uh, let's see. Quick pull down. Um, you know, right, left, wherever. You know, if you if you even want to run it, you can turn it off if you don't want to run it. Uh, you have your brightness slider. And then your status bar options are going to be, of course, uh, what you want showing. In your, in your status bar, you can pick and choose, and you just basically turn it on or off. Because right now I'm recording, so it shows as casting, uh, and it puts an icon up there. I, I don't want that icon there, so I just shut it off. Uh, but it, it's just your standard settings. Nothing uh, extra, you know, uh, over the top, anything like that. So uh, I just wanted you guys to see that because uh, there are, like, your quick settings tiles. Uh, they're nowhere else in the ROM. This is where you go to set those up at. All right, we're going to go ahead and go up to the twisted features or the twisted tweaks. Uh, not a lot, uh, but like I said, guys, uh, this ROM does not go over the top in the custom settings. Uh, that's not what this ROM is about. Uh, this ROM tries to stay as close to uh, true AOSP as possible. Uh, with, you know, again, giving you guys those couple extra features. So, uh, under display options, uh, expanded desktop, your LCD uh, density. Uh, it does have contextual header, which I just love. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm running uh, Frankie's or RD3, R3DS's uh, header pack, uh, which is outstanding. It's called Deity Headers. Uh, I highly suggest you guys give it a try. <clears throat> Uh, then, of course, you have your dashboard settings. Um, you know, you can go with a single row, um, you know, two or three rows if you want, uh, your title views, dividers, and uh, they do give you uh, settings for your transparencies.
power menus up next. Uh, they give you a lot of features to, uh, to turn on or have showing in your power menu, which is pretty cool. I like that. Volume rocker controls. You guys can uh, uh, set your volume rockers up however you want. Uh, this is how you would do that. I don't know if there are any further settings here. I don't. I don't set my uh, my volume keys up to do anything except uh, except work the volume. So that's pretty much what I have. Uh, recent apps. Uh, these are the only settings you have: default, recent, uh, full screen, status bar, or your nav bar. Uh, let's see, status bar is up next. Uh, you have your notification count for expanded or force expanded notifications. You, uh, you can throw a carrier label on there if you like. Uh, then you have your clock and date appearance and settings. Uh, this is going to be where you set up your clock. Um, again, basically you can you know set your clock, you know date, AM, PM stuff like that, uh, and color. I, I would at least like to see um, where we could make that a little bit bigger. Uh, but, you know, still, letting us color it is, to me, I think it's just awesome in itself. A lot of ROMs don't let you do any coloring at all in your status bar, so I think it's pretty cool. Uh, nav bar is up next. Uh, you can basically enable it or disable it if you want to just use Pi instead of the nav bar. I mean, you know, you can do that. Uh, I don't use Pi. I really only have it on here for uh, demonstration purposes only and to show it in the video. Um... Show arrow keys while uh, arrow keys while typing. Uh, kill app back button. Then of course you have your long press uh, uh, for recent uh, nav bar dimensions, which are cool because they give you the uh, 52 dp as opposed to just 48 dp, uh, and I really like that feature. Uh, and then of course your other settings are whoops nav bar width uh, goes up to 42. And that is it for the twisted uh, tweaks. Now, um, I am going to run down through here because there are um, <clears throat> a couple cu extra custom features uh, throughout. Uh, you just have to look into the other settings to find them. Uh, under display, uh, your brightness setting, adaptive brightness, you know, your standard stuff that you're going to find in all the ROMs, uh, your ambient display, tap to wake, you know, uh, your camera button on the power, uh, you know, all the stuff that you're used to seeing is going to be here. Uh, font size, cast, uh, and then wake on charge, uh, which I do have that set. And I'm testing it, and it is working so far. Uh, although I did have a couple uh, instances where the phone woke up in my pocket. Well, uh, I've actually been running this ROM uh, for, you know, since I uh, flashed it. Uh, and I've been out fishing for the past three or four days on vacation. Uh, and I did have a couple instances where the phone clicked on in my pocket <clears throat> just to let you guys know um so just be aware of that uh sound and notifications there's all your volume settings um of course you guys can uh, pick what you want to show uh or as your ringtones um volume down silence uh your volume up do not disturb you know stuff like that uh and remember just what I have on running does not mean that's what comes with the ROM. Um, I use a lot of custom ringtones uh, that I pull from other ROMs and from other sources. So, and you guys can too. Um, but the only th I think uh, I know for sure Pong comes with it, but uh, Super Mario World does not come with it. Uh, you have your cast settings, uh, your notification lights, um, and they are working great. Um, of course, again, we do not have. The flashing notifications in the Nexus 6, but uh, at least the notification lights come up as they should. <clears throat> you guys can change your battery uh, charging lights if you want to do that. Uh, when device is locked. App notifications. Basically, you guys can set up what apps you want to have, um, you know, to be able to notify you and you can set up their notifications right through there. 
uh, prevent auto ducking, audio ducking. Jesus, I can't even talk this morning. Uh, I actually like this feature, so I do run this one a lot. Uh, then under advanced, you have your notification accesses and your do not disturb. Again, I still don't know where the heads up is at. I would love to be able to find that because I hate heads up. I don't like to run it. Um, and it's just every time I get a message, I get that pop up, pop up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, under security, pretty uh, pretty standard uh, setup for your security features. Um, I've noticed though with the uh, latest, and I, I think it's the G apps that are doing it. Uh, under device administrator, it usually comes uh, Android uh, device manager. Um, they are not activated by default anymore. Uh, so that I think that's cool because I don't like uh, any default administrations. Uh, I just don't like it. Uh, you know, device administrators uh, set as default like Android or um, uh, Nova Launchers, latest. Uh, I don't like them set as default. Uh, unknown sources. Uh, let's see. Storage type, all that. It's there. I don't see anything different. You know, screen pinning's all the way at the bottom. Um So uh, if any of you guys running this ROM happen to figure out how to turn heads up off, uh, if you guys could post it uh, in the uh, in the notes or in you know in the in the comments, that would be great uh, for me or anybody else that wants to know how to shut the heads up off. That would be awesome. Um, and that's about it. We're gonna go ahead and hit developer options because we didn't go down through there yet. Um, but as you guys can see, uh, you have your theme, you can set it up light, dark. I'm running it light. Um, I found that sometimes on dark, it screws with the theming. Uh, make sure you have Android debugging turned on. Um, I do love that they have the local terminal in there. And if, uh, I'm not going to explain it because I don't want to give anybody that's new, um, any, <laughs> uh, any reason to screw up their phone but if you guys know what turn what the local terminal is you guys know what i mean it's awesome that it's included i like that uh, i'm trying to think here under drawing is usually where you get your yep your multi-window mode uh that is there and i'm still not seeing heads up all right guys that's it um other than that, this is an OMS-based uh, or Substratum-supported ROM. Uh, so you guys can run, run Substratum, and I am. Uh, and I will tell you guys this. Substratum has come leaps and bounds from where it first started. Um, no problems at all running any of the Substratum themes at all. And it is like running uh, CMTE. Um, now, again, guys... Uh, I still don't like layers. Um, I do like OMS a little bit better, or Substratum a little bit better, uh, because you know you don't have to reboot. Uh, I like how you can pull different features from different themes, just like you can CMTE. Uh, like for instance, uh, the header packs I'm running from Deity, uh, the Deity header packs, which are just awesome. I mean, you've got to see how many uh, uh, header packs that you can choose from. And his headers are just all top-notch. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, just a whole a whole bunch of them. And it's very simple to change a header pack. And, you know, uh, right now I'm running uh, number nine. We'll go with, uh, I don't know if I can get the gorilla to show or not. Uh, sometimes it works. It depends on the ROMs. I don't know. For, uh, and sometimes it doesn't for some reason. Uh, we're going to go Whoops. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll show you guys. I hit the pause button by mistake. We're going to hit this compile button real quick. We're going to hit compile update. Um, I'm going to pause it while it's compiling. And when it's done, you hit enable installed overlays. Then when you're done, you want to make sure that you see no, uh, no errors. And you just uh, click on uh, enable installed overlays, click OK. And I'm going to pause it until it's done. And actually that did not take that long to do. Uh, and there is the uh, new overlay. So, I mean guys, it's, it's very, very
compare to. So I'm running, uh, my header packs are from Deity, um, and my theme is, I'm actually running Lunar, it's a new one, uh, so again, uh, you guys can just, you can pick and choose what you want. It's just so cool uh, how, you, how you do this. Uh, just like CMTE. I mean, there is no difference at all. Uh, and my boot animation, I am running also, uh, you can pick your boot animation from whoever has a, a, a boot animation. Um, and I'm actually running Deity again because I just love Deity's uh, boot animation. Uh, Spectrum has a couple cool ones. Um... If you look at uh, Spectrum's boot animations, you pull a drop down. Uh, the Watchdog, if it'll even show me, because I've had issues with it in the past showing me. Uh, just because it doesn't show you the boot animation does not mean that it's, it won't work. Um, it just means that it's having problems with the resources. But here is the boot animation for that. So that's kind of cool, too. I've run this one. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, but right now, I'm actually running... Um, uh, from Deity, uh, I'm running their uh, boot animation. Uh, and also, guys, I have themes set up for all these, so it's very quick to change in between themes. And you have no problems when you change. Uh, but this is the oops, this is the boot animation that I'm running right now, and I just love R3D's uh, 3D look uh, boot animation. Uh, so that's what I'm running. You guys can set it up however you want. Uh, also, Crystaltronic. Um, is very new. Uh, if you guys want to see what that looks like quickly, I'll show you. Uh, I'll set that. I think. Well, actually, I think I showed that in my last video. So, anyways, um, again, OMS has just gone leaps and bounds uh, for Substratum from where it first started. Everything's working. I haven't had too many glitches at all. Uh, but again, there still are a couple small glitches here and there. But if it is, just move to a different theme or move to a different color or and usually it'll straighten out. Okay, guys? Um, well, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Again, that was Twisted for the Nexus 6. Uh, this was a uh, request review. Um, and again, guys, if you have a request, I usually like to try to get it out. Uh, I did promise them last night. I tried to get it out last night, but with us driving home and, um, you know, unpacking and all that, I just kind of ran out of time, so... Uh, I, I got it out here as early as I could this morning. Um, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.